Hey what's up, hello, welcome to or welcome back to my channel if you're new here, my name is Emma and if you're not new here, my name is still Emma. If I'm being honest, I was kind of scraping the barrel for our content ideas this week, so here we are. Turns out, I'm actually quite excited for this. Today I'm going to be sharing with you guys my favourite products that I'm using at the moment. Um, this includes like, well it's not necessarily products, it includes like hair, skin stuff, books, songs, clothes, shoes. Basically everything that I'm loving at the moment. There are a few products in here that I was gifted, but I'm only including them because like I genuinely use them and genuinely love them. It's not like part of my collaboration that I have to include them in this video. I'm just doing it because I want to share them with you guys. I did one of these videos just over a year ago, I'm pretty sure. I haven't been back to re-watch that, so I don't know what I said in that video. I feel like there are going to be some repeating products. If they were in that video and also in this video, then you know that they are really good. And then I still use them. For each of these like categories type of thing, I'll introduce each category and then there are three items under each category. So let's go. First off, we're going to start with hair care products. I am obsessed with hair care at the moment for no particular reason. I have three products which I'm using and loving at the moment. It was so hard for me to choose just three products to share with you guys for this one. In terms of actual like products, like hair products, hair care products, we have two. We have Olplex number eight and Olplex number nine. This one is like a leave-in in the shower for 10 minutes and then wash out type deal. And then number nine, you would have seen this on my Instagram, I am actually obsessed with this. It's, it doubles as a heat protectant and they um, kind of market it as like skincare but for your hair and I definitely couldn't agree more with that. You apply it after you've popped out of the shower and then you just style your hair as normal and it just keeps it looking. I actually put it in this morning. I also have my hair straightened here. This is so random. I got this like five years ago but it's just it just never dies on me. It's just the it's just reliable. This is really good. It's from Cloud9. It's called the Wide Iron Straight now, I'm pretty sure. I got it for Christmas at the end of year 11. Wow, end of 2017. It's served me well and it still continues to serve me well. All right, moving on to skincare. I have three products to share with you guys. And before I show you, these were all gifted to me, but I would not be showing you these unless I actually genuinely use them and love them, which I do. I'm gonna start with this one. So this little, it looks little. It's actually, I've got this one here as well. I haven't opened this one yet, but it's this morning coffee scrub. So as you can see, well used, well loved. This is actually my second tube of it as well. It's from Eden Eye Body, so it is a face scrub or mask. I use it as a scrub, so once a week in the shower, I put it on and then wash it off. And I just feel like it leaves my skin feeling so soft and smooth. And especially when I have blackheads, I'm really prone to getting blackheads on my nose. I feel like when I use this, they just disappear. And I've also seen, I don't really suffer much from acne, um, which I'm so grateful for. But I've seen amazing before and after photos of people using this. Um, on the acne. I have two other products here from In My Body. So the first here is the after oil. So this is a body oil that you apply after you've had a shower. I apply it, I normally only do it on my legs because um, I find that because I shave my legs it just makes them like extra soft and smooth. You can also use this as a tanning oil as well so in the summertime I apply and my Edna sunscreen as well. It's called Juring if you're curious. Um, and then I put this over the top and then I know that I'm not going to get burnt but I know that I'm also going to tan a little bit which is great. And then I have the good old classic part-time tan. I was on my Instagram story the other day raving about this because um, I thought I couldn't use it because I was getting laser hair removal but turns out I can. It's so good especially, I could honestly go on about this for days but it is 99% um, natural, cruelty free, vegan, made in New Zealand, good for sensitive skin, contains a sort of whiskey in it for all the antiseptic properties that that has. I could go on about it for days. Anyway, long story short, you need to try it. If you do want to try any of the Edenite products as well, I do have a discount code with them, which is Emma10 for, I think it's 10% off. Um, it is an affiliate code, just so you know. So moving into entertainment, this is a bit of a random one, but I have three of my favourite songs right now to share with you guys. I'll link my playlist down below. I use Apple Music, but I have a Spotify playlist that I keep up to date, will kind of keep up to date for you guys, so you can listen to the same music as me. Three songs that I'm loving at the moment. Um, first one is Levels by Mark E. Bassey. He's just like, honestly, have loved his music since like, 2018 and he's just bringing out some bangers recently so there's my favorite one there currently um easy to love by grant schaefer great song so cute summer vibes even though it's absolutely pouring down with rain right now so good and then wave of you by surfaces i feel like they're really switching up their music at the moment um and i'm not mad about it next up we have movies so i have three as well here to share with you guys the first one is predestination i watched this last weekend with owen and his flatmates and we were browsing there were six of us right and we were browsing to try and find a movie that all of us would enjoy 
and someone pipes up and goes how about a psychological thriller and I'm like how about no how about we don't do that how about we watch like a rom-com or something anyway my opinion was clearly not valid in that room because we ended up choosing predestination they were like oh we'll give it 10 minutes if we don't like it we'll change and so I'm sitting there going yep 10 minutes let's go like literally counting down and then once I got into the storyline like it was really really good um so not anything that I would normally watch. In fact, the next day we were like all discussing it and we were like, wow, like that storyline was like the plot was just insane. The other two movies I have here are a bit more lighthearted Adam Sandler vibes. Um, we have Blended, which has been like one of my all time favorite movies since it came out in like 2015, I think. And the other movie is Just Go With It, which is really, really similar in terms of storyline, but also a really good movie. Probably all of those movies probably more towards blended's okay just go with it and predestination especially predestination definitely more for i wouldn't watch that if you're under 16. next up we have books as you guys know i have been trying to get into reading i'm currently two books down doing good if you've been watching my instagram story you will know the books i'm about to share with you but i have three shockingly enough so the first one is atomic habits this was just so good like in terms of implementing good habits i feel like i'm pretty good at doing that but i still took a lot from this book i don't want to tell you what i took from the book just because i want you to read the book it's really really good in terms of like the first proper book that i had read in a very long time it was very nice and digestible last night i just finished reading this book which is called never split the difference so i was recommended this by owen's flatmate actually the same one who chose the predestination movie if you're curious and this again is something i probably wouldn't normally go for but i just found it so interesting and i it's about negotiating and i would not consider myself someone who's very good at negotiating or communicating in general to be honest the third one here a little shameless promo to my flatmate rachel masters she has written a book and no I haven't actually sat down and read this but I helped to illustrate it so I have read bits and pieces of it and it is so good. I remember when I first met Rachel in first year of uni we were sitting in my room studying and she's like Emma can I tell you a secret and I was like sure why not. She's like I'm writing a book and I was like what? Yeah anyway we now have the book in the flesh. It's very exciting. It's a devotional book. And she has poured her heart and soul into this little baby. So I will link her Instagram for this on the screen or down below so that you can check it out if you would like. Next up we have snacks. Starting off we have these skinny dipped almonds. You can only get these at Pack and Save a New World. But they are amazing. Ideally I like the bigger bags because um, I kind of tend to go for handfuls at a time. They're very tasty. Then we have these veggie crisps which I got for half price from Countdown. They're very tasty. This one is a mixture of purple kumara, orange kumara, and taro. And the other snack I want to share with you guys, which unfortunately I do not have here today because I ate it all, is roasted chickpeas. I'll put a photo on the screen here of what I'm talking about. I used to have them in my lunchbox when I lunchbox lunchbox when I was like I want to say like an in intermediate school, maybe start of high school. Um, went off them for a bit, but then I found them the other day when I was buying my veggie crisps and I'm a little bit obsessed. I could not come up with a better category for these things. These are just things I wanted to include, but they don't really fit into any category. So we have the category random, miscellaneous, whatever you want to call it. First, these drink bottles. You have 110% heard me talk about these before if you have been around here for a while. They're from Dawny Adventure Club. This one's 500 mils, this one's a litre. I got this one like 18 months ago. I got this one like at the end of last year and they're just so good. Not to crap on Hydro Flask, but they are literally a Hydro Flask, but about half the price. Great supporting Kiwi businesses. They also, a percentage of their profits goes towards um, the Mental Health Foundation. So, um... <laughs> Taya just having a cry in the corner with her Hydro Flask. <laughs> I also got my flatmate Morgan onto getting one of these and she is obsessed. Next up we have this lip balm, which is actually from Thin Lizzy, which I find kind of ironic because I feel like Thin Lizzy, like, if you're around my age, you would have grown up watching Thin Lizzy infomercials as a kid on, like, a Saturday morning. It is so good. I've had heaps of problems with my lips being super dry, and this has just solved that problem. Do not underestimate Thin Lizzy. <sighs> Next up, this is so random. <laughs> it's called the Acro Ball F. Um, I just love this pen because... 
It's just a really good pen, okay? It costs like $7, but in my opinion, it's worth every cent. It's got a nice fine tip on the end of it. There you go. <laughs> really good. Um, so if you're looking for a pen, that's the one that you should buy. Next up, we have clothes. And because it is getting a bit cooler, I have Focus this on winter clothes. In my opinion, winter essentials. I could go on about this again for ages, but all three of these items I've actually bought myself, shockingly enough. So first up we have this good old white fox hoodie that I actually got for 40% off on Black Friday. It's just my ride or die hoodie, comfort hoodie, support hoodie, everything you could ever ask for in a hoodie. White fox hoodies are just, they just always, you can always rely on them. I wear a size small slash medium if you're wondering. Their stuff is very oversized, so definitely, do not upsize for an oversized look that is not required. Next we have these tights which are from Honor Active, O-N-E-R Active. I found out about these, you would have, you've probably heard me talk about these on Instagram before. I found out about the active wear from my friend Kendall and I am obsessed. Okay, I say I'm obsessed, I've never bought anything full price from them before. Everything that I've bought from them has either been like 50-70% to 70 off. So I got these half price, but they're full length black tights, seamless, really flattering, really good, squat proof, everything you could ever ask for in a pair of tights is these right here. I wear a size small and I get the like short ones because my legs aren't super long. They have like a short option and then like a slightly longer option, I don't know what the difference is, but anyway. A short fits me well and I'm 100 and... 70 centimeters tall I think and then we have this big corduroy puffer jacket this was such an impulsive purchase I went out shopping with Taya one night and we were just shopping and then I was like you know what I want to buy a new puffer jacket a corduroy one could be fun and then 30 minutes later I was um receiving your order has been confirmed email from ASOS so I got it for I think it was $60 it had $100 off I'll put a photo on the screen here of me wearing it but yeah I'm very excited to wear this on the sideline of some football games this winter all right and last but not least we have shoes which I love a good pair of shoes so we'll start off with this one OG shouldn't be surprised good old pair of high top converse they look kind of new because I bought them at the end of winter last year and so I'm kind of like it's kind of like they're brand new now because I never really got a chance to wear them for like ages when I bought them but they just go with everything and they're just comfy and can't go wrong then we have these which I'm pretty sure they're Reebok Classic something or others they're very cute I went with the grey and white colorway it's like a the white's like an off-white though it's quite creamy but I just feel so sporty when I wear them they don't I must admit they don't go with everything I feel like you have to wear them with like tights or skinny jeans like they have to be cuffed at the ankle you can't wear them with like ones that are like baggy like this but they're very comfortable I've actually had these I should go back and find it I've had them saved on my Instagram like in my saved posts to buy I'm pretty sure for like three years now and I just never got around to it and so here they are and then we have these which I have been wanting these for so long and they're always out of stock I managed to get them they're Adidas forums in all white. Morgan, my flat manager, has them in white and blue, and so it's got blue, like the logo is blue, and there's like a few blue details on it. I love platform shoes. I actually used to have a pair of AF1s, but I hated them, so I sold them, and so these are like my version of AF1s, and in my opinion, they're quite a lot comfier than the AF1s I used to have. Literally goes with everything. Anyway, that is everything that I have to share with you guys in this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below and let me know if you have an emotional support drink bottle because um I do and um even if I wasn't showing this in the video, it, I can guarantee it would still be sitting next to me because I just simply cannot do anything without it, which is not good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe, stay well, make someone smile, and I'll see you in my next video. If they were in this video and also in this video, I'll start with this. This is actually, hang on, okay. have movies. Next up we have move. <sighs> Getting all hot and flustered. Mmm, delicious. Okay, fab.